Good morning, everyone. My name is John Gallagher uh, from Trinity College Dublin, and my talk will be on the impact of COVID-19 restrictions on air quality in the Greater Dublin area. So to give you an overview of what I'm going to cover today, I'm going to give you a context to why this study was undertaken, what we focused upon in the study, and how we undertook the work through spatial temporal analysis. Some of the key findings that we identified and to reiterate some key conclusions from the study. The backdrop of this work is that the Air Quality in Ireland 2019 report was recently published. And the impact of COVID-19 on air quality for 2020 has been quite notable. And we hope that some of our findings can contribute to next year's report. So the context. Over the last number of months, a range of studies have presented evidence that air quality has been impacted by COVID-19. You can see in the table and the illustration, the differences between different periods of time, either last year or previous years with 2020 in cities and countries around the world. Only one study has highlighted the impact in Ireland, studied by minute, with PM reductions of 11 or 12 percent, NO2 concentration reductions of 30 to 37 percent, and a very marginal reduction in ozone of 2 to 3 percent. So the focus of this study was to quantify the impact of COVID-19 restrictions on air quality in the Greater Dublin area. We hope to achieve that by undertaking three objectives or steps comparing PM 2.5, NO2, and O3 concentrations for 2020 with what we call a business as usual scenario. I'll explain that in a moment. We wanted to consider the impact of meteorological conditions in the comparative analysis. And we wanted to examine both diurnal and monthly variations for each of the pollutants across different sites in the greater Dublin area. So our approach was a spatial temporal analysis we selected eight different sites classified as urban or suburban traffic or background sites. And we accessed data at a, either a hourly or daily resolution. So really a number of important considerations in our work. So what is a business as usual scenario? Number of studies utilized three previous years, 2017 to 2019, data and use that average of the three years as a representative of this business as usual period and compared that to 2020. We also wanted to ensure that environmental conditions were taken into account in the assessment. We noted that the month of May between 2017 and 2020 in particular had very similar environmental conditions or weather conditions. Therefore, the impacts on air quality be less impacted by variations in rainfall, temperature variations, and transboundary pollution. And lastly, we wanted to compare air quality measured at different monitoring sites across the Greater Dublin area to assess whether one or multiple sites represent air quality impacts of COVID-19 in the city. So taking a course level overview, Firstly, we just wanted to take PM 2.5 data for several sites. And we noticed at a very coarse resolution, a monthly resolution, that there was a significant difference between suburban and urban concentrations. It was noted that the urban site of Rath Mines had a much more notable impact of COVID restrictions than suburban sites such as Finglas and Marino for 2020. And this was evident for the three previous years for Rath Mines, while it was less notable for the other two sites. We also wanted to compare weekend and weekday data. Here I present NO2 for weekdays. You will note that there is significant differences between the red line, which represents the three previous years of 2017 to 2019, with 2020 for all three sites. For weekend, however, 
there was a less notable difference. To compare the data here, let's look at three aspects. Firstly, the maximum concentration reached on weekdays versus weekends in the blue circle on the left. Secondly, if we look at the concentration, the greatest impact was noted in AM commuting hours. So more people working from home equals reduced traffic. And the biggest impact on air quality for NO2 specifically was noted in this period. However, significant reductions occurred throughout the day. And anecdotally on weekends, there was a relatively consistent reduction across the day, but reduced socializing and people moving in and out of the city centre in the evenings led to a significant reduction through taxis, private vehicles, buses, etc. on the weekend evenings. The findings for ozone, however, were different to NO2 and PM2.5. However, the data from the three sites, you'll notice on the right slide, the blue illustrating 2020, you can see that ozone concentrations were marginally higher at three different sites. However, in most cases, these results were not statistically significant. One note is that the urban site of Rath Mines had a much more evident marginal increase as opposed to the suburban sites. So it is important to note for PM2.5, only daily values were available as opposed to hourly for NO2 and ozone. So diurnal patterns were only available for those two pollutants. So from a monthly perspective, Rath Mines had a significant reduction for PM2.5 and nitrogen dioxide, 33% and 48%. And its urban site was very different for PM2.5, but very similar for NO2. Ozone, once again, had this increase as opposed to a decrease, and the urban site had a much more substantial increase as opposed to the suburban sites. For the hourly perspective, taking NO2 and ozone only as hourly data was available in that circumstance. For NO2, there was a statistically significant reduction in micrograms per cubic meter for urban and suburban sites. However, for ozone, there was a very different picture in that the urban site of Rath Mines had a more significant reduction as opposed to the suburban sites. So in conclusion, it is clear that COVID-19 restrictions have impacted air quality for the greater Dublin area. In the month of May, 2020, as compared to three previous years, the reduction for PM2.5 and NO2 of up to 33% and 60% respectively was observed. With the increase in O3 or ozone of up to 18.4%. This was very similar to other studies around the world. There's a clear impact on NO2 specifically when it comes to people working from home and reduced congestion and commuting. And anecdotally, in evenings on weekends, air quality reductions were observed in the evenings where less people were traveling to the city center to socialize. It was clear that there was different impacts of COVID-19 restrictions across the greater Dublin area when it comes to air quality, as suburban areas were less impacted than urban areas. So the research agrees with other international studies, but it's important to note that no one monitoring station represents the greater Dublin area. And it's important for this form of analysis to utilize data from different sites. So thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, I suggest please use the app and I'll be happy to answer them at the end of this session. Thank you.